In May, photographer Kirk Arneson and I traveled with a team from Gunderson Lutheran providing health care on an Indian reservation in South, Car South Dakota. This week you can see our reports on life on the reservation and what the Gunderson team is doing there. This morning we're focusing on health care. When you or a family member is sick, you can pick up the phone and make an appointment at your local clinic or the hospital, or you just get in your car and drive there. Most of you will see a doctor in a relatively short amount of time, but that is not the case for people living on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota. In our exclusive series, Healers at Wounded Knee, why residents and hospital staff say the health care system must improve. Time can stand still for people waiting to see a doctor or fill a prescription at the Pine Ridge Hospital. Most patients are seen at the walk-in clinic. It's not uncommon to wait hours to see a doctor. We sit there hoping to get seen the same day. And if not, we stay there all day, half of the night, and being this in this uh, difficult situation, they'll, they'll maybe suggest that we go back the next day. And the patients we spoke with say the wait in the ER is not much better. You go to Pine Ridge for an emergency, get in there around 7 o'clock. You probably won't be seen till about 10. 10.30. For an emergency. For an emergency. The hospital is run by Indian Health Services, an agency of the federal government. Hospital CEO Bill Poirier says like other agencies on the reservation, his hospital is underfunded and understaffed. A federal prisoner receives more dollars than we do per patient. Staff, equipment and drug costs add up quickly. And according to Bill, the government provides half of the money he needs to run an efficient quality program. And unfortunately, we can only pay for the what's called the priority one cases. Those are life-threatening, limb loss, or census loss cases, period. We can't pay for anything else. Preventative health care is nearly non-existent. Yearly physicals, pap smears, mammograms, even well baby checks are hard to come by. That may explain why Pine Ridge has some of the worst health statistics in the nation. According to a 2005 Colorado State study, infant mortality on the reservation is five times higher than the national average. Obesity, diabetes, and heart disease occur in epidemic proportions. And the average life expectancy is 52 years for a woman and just 48 for a man. You know, people are just trying to make ends meet. They're just trying to survive. On top of service issues, patients can have a hard time getting to the hospital. Many live in rural villages like Porcupine, roughly 25 miles away. The unemployment rate in Porcupine is above 80 percent. Many here don't have a vehicle or the money to fill their gas tank. Bill says he is working to secure funding to start a mobile clinic. So this is something we're going to have to talk about strategic planning. Hospital staff will travel to remote areas of the reservation to provide urgent and preventative care. We have to continue to find ways and be innovative about it, creative about it, to improve health care for our people. It could take three to five years to get the mobile program off the ground. And people like Marlene and Floyd, already in their 40s, wonder if they have that much time. When the Pine Ridge facility can't see a patient either because they don't have the funding or staff, that patient is often referred to another facility off the reservation. Many times they're sent to the hospital in Rapid City, which is about an hour and a half away by car. As you can imagine, some of those patients are never seen because they don't have the means to get there.